Hi everybody, thanks for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries. We are up at Gauntlet Games today uh, on this lovely Wednesday, uh, recording another match for you. Um, looks like we have a Rebel versus an Imperial matchup with Darth Otaku and our Rebel Ace facing off here. So uh, I'm going to get the uh, lists uh, brought up here in just a minute. I'm still actually building the overlay, uh, but we'll have that up in just a minute here. Um, you guys can uh, chill out for a bit and watch these guys finish placing their ships and their debris. And of course I'll be here to do some snarky commentary while uh, they're flying. So don't forget, this is a great time to go and uh, like and subscribe. Um, maybe leave a preemptive comment first or something like that. Uh, and uh, the good opportunity to go and check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash geektechindustries. Go pick yourself up some Ewok insurance. Uh, it's a great value in this day and age. Uh, really a wonderful value. We promise you will never be eaten by Ewoks. Uh, of course, this offer is void on the Forest Moon of Endor. Uh, we also give you early access to our recordings. Uh, you get access three days before they go live to the rest of the world. Uh, and access to our Discord so you can uh, snark at us in real life. Five and five. So which of you guys got initiative? Me. All right. So Darth Otaku has initiative. Oh. <coughs> Ray, can you send me um, that? That like just a. What I have here right now. Absolutely. Yeah. How do you want it? Uh, text? Send it uh, image, please. Image. Roger that. And just uh, text that to me. <laughs> All right, these guys are. Oh, sorry, Ray, I almost okay. bonked you in the head there. Well, it's okay. It would have been my fault anyway. So. Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing, Ray? What are you doing? I don't, I don't even know what you're doing. Nobody knows what you're doing, right? I, I don't. That's a good because I don't even know. What yeah. I'm doing. So <laughs> okay. It's all fair for everyone. As long as, long as we've got that settled. All right. <laughs> all right. So he's over there. <laughs> he is over there. Over where? Ah, just kidding. This is the whole joke. He's under there. Under where? Oh, you got me. Oh. <laughs> Where's some high class humor here? <laughs> We are the highest of the lowbrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have tons of class. Oh, yeah. That it's all low. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You, you, that's all you get. No more of that. I heard that. <laughs> I hope they didn't. Damn it. Man, I... I Seeing two aggressors makes me realize I need to get a second aggressor. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Double intensity is so a, such a thing, and two aggressor. I don't even have two Y wings. I don't even have two Y wings. Uh, well, no, that's not true. I have a scum and a rebel, so technically I have two Y wings. You don't fly Imperial, do you? Me? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I do. Okay, so I'm generally like a monkey. I I took. Like the bread and butter of Imperial. Oh yeah, no, I took uh, I took an Imperial list to regionals, so. Oh, okay. Jonas. Thanks for all you've shown us. Dun, 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 dun. Right? Alrighty, so that's the position. Now it's time to bump, 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 bump. Interesting choices here as I'm putting this together. You guys, will, I think you guys will be uh, intrigued by some of his choices. It's the first permutation. Don't hate me. Don't hate. Don't hate. Don't worry. We don't Ditto. hate. Ditto on that for me. Just remember, remember, Ray, cheat early, cheat often, and get good scrub. You already caught me cheating. I had to change my list. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, I actually just made this list up right now, right here, right now. So yep. This yep. Is a right Sight now unseen. He's flying it. Still gonna be it uh, honestly, still, still a better love story than Twilight. Yes, it is. Yep. That's true. Right, I guess I'm joking. I'm gonna move double edge while you do that. You betcha. Alright, what do we got? He's really? He's going merrily forward. He's sane. She's so insane. He's sane. Insane in the membrane? Oh, I guess I'll uh, 
Satan in the brain. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> you are. Wow. Okay. Well, right, you guys so are already started. I'm gonna wow, get the timer started. Right you guys won't be able to see the timer yet. Sorry. But uh, once I get the overlay up, uh, you guys will be able to see it properly. And um, surprise, surprise, surprise. Shocked. Stunned, even. Yeah, just flabbergasted. Labyrinth is gas already. Whoa, whoa, man. <laughs> this is a family show. Not really. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, it's not. So, so not a family show. And, uh, well, I mean, we, we got families. There is that. Okay, they're both done. All right, I got... One more pilot to do here, and then you guys will be able to see uh, Darth Otaku stuff. And then I've just got to put uh, Ray stuff together, and you'll get that too. Are they both ruthlessness? Yeah, they are. That's beautiful. That's ruthless, man. He is. He is. All right. So, well, check for range. <laughs> yeah. Just so I'm close. I'm going to bank this on Ray. I'm just going to use this uh, Moldy Pro card to signify Ray. Okay. Just so that nobody forgets that. I'm banking on it. Ooh, and 99, eh? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Oh, Otaku. Yeah. Is that 99? That's what I'm counting here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> so uh, it sounds like you have a lot of confidence here. A lot of confidence going on, Ray. Turn two. I'm setting my shuttle dial just in case. You're like, <laughs> I'm gonna die so bad. You're 100 points, aren't you, Ray? I am. That should be a thing, actually. You should have to have your shuttle dial preset in case it blows up, and that's the dial that gets removed. Nah. I know that'd be too harsh. Because right now he's running the turret. So he's basically, what, what happens there is he's climbing down out of that turret and running to the shuttle before it explodes. So he has an opportunity to choose what, what's going to happen, right? That's just, that's just how I look at it. You know, when, you, when, you, when I try to think of a thematic reason why things are, right? I was just thinking of a reason to take over. Always a reason. Always a reason. Just gonna bring up Darth Otaku's list in just a second here. So I'm going to hyper us in here, and you guys are going to see the first half of the lists up. 
and then uh, I will bring up the second half of the list in just a minute. So we got the timer going. You can see Darth Otaku is running double edge with ruthlessness, unguided rockets, twin laser turret, and lightweight frame. Lieutenant Kestel with ruthlessness, cluster missiles, twin laser turret, and lightweight frame. And Captain Jonas with the. Sh uh, Oh, for some reason it added weapons engineer. You don't have weapons engineer on there, do you? All right, so uh, for some reason I ended up with weapons engineer, but you see an Isard, the Tiny Shot, a lightweight frame, and elusiveness. I'll fix that when I bring the other um, other squad up here, guys. Wow, how did... Sometimes... That's how you know that the XWS format is hasn't really solidified yet. <laughs> okay. There we go. That should have that fixed. Sorry about that, guys. All right, now I'm just going to bring up Ray's list while they continue to jockey for position and figure out what the heck they're doing here. Can you figure out what the heck I'm doing? Can you tell me? Man, if you don't know, you're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> this is a guy that uh, I, I change lists, I think, more often than I change my underwear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where are you? There you go, Kanan. Lorik. What is that? This is what's this? Bob Ross? Ross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just be a happy little ghost trucking along there. Oh yeah. Just some happy little explosions. Just just make some ions happen. It's just you know just some soothing stuff. <laughs> go. Your, your list now has a name. It's the Bob Ross Ghost. Bob Ross Ghost. Yep. Oh, if you're naming those things, could you, call, could you call mine Ruthless Aggression, please? Ruthless Aggression. Nice. Got it. I like it. I like it. Tells you exactly what it is. Yep. I like self-description for lists. All right. I actually have some shots. So we have Nate. We have one shot. No, we don't have a shot. Okay, so what do we got? A uh, one shield on double edge? One shield off double edge. All right. So the lady turned by the sword. I have a question. Oh, but it's our son. Double edge's ability when interacting with TLT. Do I have to miss with both or only one for it to active? For which? One attack performs twice. Oh, for ruthlessness? No, no, it's no. just double edge ability. Double edge ability. Yes. Yeah, you have to miss with both. So the, it's usually best to open up with your unguided rockets first and then follow up with the TLT. Yeah. Which is what I'm going to do. Yeah. You have an unguided rocket? Uh, yeah. Double edge is four. So double edge took one? Yeah. Four hull, zero shields now? Correct. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Four. 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 Four.
Yeah, the only way you can modify it is by spending a focus. You can technically fire again with those uh, with his rockets. Yeah. Oh, really? With a different weapon. Oh, with a different weapon. Sorry. So if he didn't have a turret equipped, if he didn't have a turret equipped, then he'd have to use his primary. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. Excellent. That shows everybody's stats now. Okay. Okay. I've almost got rays done here, guys. Just bear with me a minute. Ghost took, sorry? Ghost took one and uh, the gunship took two. Oh, I like <coughs> where this is going already, man. I like where I this know, is going. I, uh, back rolling blanks. So uh, don't forget to roll in here if oh, you can, wait, wait. guys. Sorry. It does help to, to show them on screen. So. Rolling dice is rolling dice. So, you know, in the heat of the moment, I totally understand. There it is. All right. Save current tab. All right. All right. So Kanan. Kanan has taken one. Yeah. So five, five shields left still. Not so bad. Zeb's still doing fine because he's docked. And Lorik has taken two, so he's got one shield left. Ooh. This is, uh, what's going on, man? What's going on here? Ray? Thought you were an ace, man. Rookie's first, then ace. It is still rookie, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Ooh, burn. All right, there you go, guys. You should be able to see uh, uh, Ray's list now. So he's got Cannon Jarrus, uh, Fire Control, Ion Cannon Turret, Ghost, Recon Spec, Harrison Dula. He's got Zeb Docked with Phantom and Chopper, and Lorik with Draw Their Fire, Ray, and Jan. So uh, going to be some interesting shenanigans. If As long as his dice don't fudge him too hard, I think he can just soak a lot of the damage that Otaku's going to throw at him. Uh, but that ruthlessness is nice, because even if he de uh, soaks uh, um, uh, most of the damage, as long as he ends up taking one, somebody else takes one as well. So. All right, I'm going to leave you guys to it for a minute. I'm going to grab it. Close there, close, but does not end up on the rock. He, yeah, he just does it in the privacy of his own home. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bumping. That's landing on a rock. That's different than bumping. Bumping, I do a lot of potential bumps if I have to. Or is your woman yelling? Five hours. Oh, there we go. I thought there was something wrong. There we go. I got that fixed now. Oh, okay, so looks like low rec pushing up to keep uh, next to Kanan. That's what low rec kind of does.
Darth Otaku taking his slow roll here. Creeping along, trying to stay, probably trying to stay out of range of that ion cannon turret. I think he's got a smart idea there. None of these ships want to be ioned. They, you know, they need to keep up their limited mobility. Although really with uh, twin laser turrets on them, um, it's not such a, as big a deal because he's going to be able to maintain shots no matter what, what kind of arc he's got. <laughs> and so we end up with a uh, hit and a crit, and uh, Ray busts out double evades. Yep. So that was his unguided rocket shot, so now he's going to twin laser turret. Uh, why are you rolling two? Because he's scared of scared. Yeah, but you're, rolling, you're attacking with secondary. It's it's still still yeah, but you're attacking with secondary, which means you only get obstruction. Yeah, he's got one actual one I'm not attacking the ghost. Oh, I thought you were attacking Lorik. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you were shooting at the so at, uh, the ghost there. Natties for nothing. Question here now, actually, since you did one damage, my infantry. Reinforce is an extra evade result. So technically that would have given you another evade. Would that have been enough to evade his three? No. There you go. So that's one, and then ruthlessness triggers, and... Yeah. Nice. Man, that ruthlessness is doing some work. That's good to see. Oh, ruthlessness doesn't trigger until after the second volley. Okay. So I'm going to re-roll these two with Jonas. What is Jonas' ability? If he's uh, range one to two... Range one? Range one. With secondary weapon, it may roll up to attack dice. Wow. So that's why you attack with the unguided first, because he can't modify that. Yep. And you can potentially strip a token. And oh! So another. So now, this is where you get a hit, and now is where Ruthlessness would trigger. So Lorak takes two from that, but Ghost only takes one because it's Ruthlessness. Only triggers once because the, if, if you look on the twin laser turret, it says attack, do this thing twice. That whole attack, exactly, that whole attack thing has to resolve before ruthlessness can then trigger. I didn't figure I was going to be so lucky with do twice. Right? I know. We used, to, we used to look at it that way and then we realized, oh, wait, 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 that's a single effect. It's the same reason why, for example, you have to do both TLT shots before fire control system will uh, trigger. <coughs> So they're, they're dialing in. You guys are carrying on. Very fast. Ah, it, you know what? You could turn and vaporize one of his ships. That four dice primary is nothing to sneeze at, man. You get a couple of good ion cannon shots in there, and his um, whole thing breaks apart. Yeah. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Is anybody's game still?
So lots of intense tactical thought going into this. Darth Otaku definitely needs to keep his formation. And he's done a pretty good job of uh, maintaining his range three. But I think that's going to be more of a challenge. Uh, Ghost has a remarkably maneuverable dial. And with Hera on there, um, it frees him up to be really aggressive um, at, the, at the expense of uh, damage mitigation. So he's trying to keep double edge out away. Now, sadly, it looks like double edge may not get his double tapping attack, but he's still going to get that twin laser turret. And as long as he can keep Jonas close without getting him wrecked too hard by the primary of the ghost, he could be okay. It'll be interesting to see what he's going to do to try and keep out of that ion cannon uh, turret range. What was Kanan's action? So he's going to do a focus evade with Jan Ors from uh, Lorik over there. Lorik, of course, has his reinforced token. Looks like he's using Captain Jonas and moving over there. Now, hmm. Yeah, he's focusing up. He's going to try and... Hmm, yeah. <laughs> this is where a barrel roll from Jonas might have been able to get him out of that primary arc. I don't think he would have been able to get away from the ion cannon turret, but also might have been able to prevent that bump. But we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. He's still going to have a couple of great uh, turret shots. Um, Kanan's got mitigation, but he's got that ruthlessness, so this should be interesting. Okay, so we're moving in to start a combat. Hey, awesome. Lieutenant Kestel is doing his attack. No focus on him, though, so he's not going to be able to use that shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's the first volley of the TLT. And we got Natty's. Three up. I don't even need Jonas. He's never rolled. Wow, what the heck is that? Wow. So I take that. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Measure it. When you're damn right, that's range one. When in when in doubt, get your sticks out. Okay. If it arrives, it must be true. So that was first. That was volley one. Volley two. Oh, ruthlessness won't trigger until after the second volley. But. Mm. With Jonas, you betcha. For well, two hits. That's still going to be a solid hit. <coughs> Going to evade two. Okay, so one of them hits, and ruthlessness will trigger. So they each take one there. Mm. So, yeah, going to take his primary and pour four dice into Jonas here from the look of it. Hmm. Mm. It looks like he might be second guessing himself. He might be trying to re measure range two and see if he can drop an ion on somebody. Yeah, 
Well, lowrick has got no range on nothing, so we're he's only got a single attack. He's got a choice of either that uh, ion cannon to try and sort of corral somebody into uh, a kill shot for next turn, or he can try to pour four dice with a focus, I believe. Yeah, four dice with a focus. Potentialities there, generating a uh, target block out of the deal as well. So. Kessel's got unguided. Kessel's got a cluster. All right, so we got the ghost four dice rolling up. Whoa, Three solid! Three hits and a crit busting out there. <laughs> so one evade, that's going to be two and a crit. Mm. So we got two and a weapons failure? Yeah. Okay, so we got... Uh, Castle now has no shields and yeah. two hull. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Jonas is still good. Double edge is still four and zero. Yeah. The ghost has taken how much? The ghost has three shields left. Ooh, boy. And Lorek is down to no shields. I'm going to come back. I'm going to use his um, and two on to, uh, damage on his hull. There we go. Got that all up to date now. Wow. Hmm. Nice. Evasion. Nice. That's what Imperials are all about. Flight discipline and dice luck. It's more accurate than I'd like to say. <laughs> wow, so... It would be interesting to see where they try to end up here. Um, the ghost is pretty much in anybody's anybody's guess where it ends up. To be honest, yeah. mm. uh, oh, and I think I think our rookie ace may have had a lost opportunity here. Yeah. Well, I see I see one last token, and there should be on the board. This, this is why you need to look at your list sometimes. Oh, the fire control system. Yeah, you would have pulled up a target lock. Right. Next time. I wish you guys could hear the sounds of their brains right now. It's this like sizzling frying sound, kind of like bacon. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised that we didn't end up seeing an ion token on Jonas. Um, <clears throat> I thought about it, but I just want to try to Mm -hmm. Especially since I didn't have any modification, the smarter choice would have been for Jonas. But Jonas had a focus token, mm -hmm. and Kestrel didn't have any. Mm -hmm. See, I'd, I would have looked for a way to pull Jonas away from the rest of them. Yep. Eye on him to force him to slow everybody else down. Or they end up <coughs> going fast and getting outside of range one of him. Um, you force him to waste his action barrel rolling or you know, or, or whatever else to keep uh, uh, defensive. And it gives you an opportunity to then turn towards him, get a nice range one, five dice with a target lock, boom, right in the face. Default. <laughs> Most disappointing win ever, right? <laughs> Those are my two favorite words in the English language. Default. Oh, 
All right, rookie ace is all dialed up. <coughs> what I figured he was going to do. In this case, you want to keep your turrets going. So I think I see what's going on there. And uh, Brookie Ace, yep, doing exactly what I predicted. Hard turn in. So this is interesting. Potentially Jonas is going to end up directly in front. Hopefully he's got... All right, there we go. Okay, Lowrick is coming around. Ooh, he's out of range, though. That big base can really haul ass. He's got no boost or nothing, so he's just going to have to reinforce and hope that for the best, I think. I don't know what he's got. Um, actually, yeah, besides reinforce and focus, what other... Uh, I normally give him vector coalescence. <coughs> to give him barrel roll, but do, barrel do they have target locks? But I don't have... Uh, They've also rushed back into production. Yeah, I could, but apparently I'd rather think of focus. <coughs> I guess. They, do they have target lock on their thing? Uh, no. They don't. They don't. Hmm, no targeting computers on there. Uh huh. Which is fine. I actually feel like you're not even going to actually move. You're not married. You're not going to get all turned. Has a singular vision. Nope. So, so, yep. <coughs> there we go. And no action from Kestel. Oh. Jonas being right there is, uh, that's bad news for Jonas. Now I'll watch. Hmm. You're still going to shoot first. Yeah, I'm going to shoot first. You're still going to shoot first. Yeah. I'm focus token off of. Oh, off of Ray? Yeah, this is just in the start of combat. Oh, because you did, didn't you jan on, why do you have a focus and an evade there? Oh, no, you have two focuses, sorry. The lighting made it look squiggly. I was out of range for jan because it's one to three. Oh, it is one to three. Oh, I could have. Yeah. Ah, shoot. Eh. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that your ghost is going to take a lot of shots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wreck that Wookiee. I mean, come on. Got to bring that shit home. Yeah. That's valuable real estate flying Yes! This is where Kanan finally kicks in. Two hits. So he's got to get paint. There we go. There's two. Second volley. Hmm? Um, he can do it anytime you roll dice to attack. Why? Why? Oh, that's right. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, let's redo the, redo the whole thing. Back in time. Through the magic of editing. Okay, so. Yeah, that's what that was. Editing. Yeah. So he would have two. You're going to spend the focus to reduce it to one. Single die. Yep. You take the shots you can, man. One hit. Not bad. So. Ray has to roll, and now he still has to spend that evade token in the end. Wow. And so two dice <coughs> on your second volley. Two dice on the second one. So this is the second volley, because weapons fail, you're still. Yeah. And then Ray's going to spend that other focus token to make it one. You just got to get, uh, you know, a hit. Again, it's fine. Yeah. 
It's fine. Sure. You got this. You got this. Oh, <laughs> another hit. And a blank. And ruthlessness triggers, but Kanan's outside of range one. Ruthlessness is range one of the ship that you hurt, right? Yeah. Uh -uh. But, yep. So this is Kanan. You measured range one, A eh? uh, Hit and a crit into... Oh! I've never actually seen anybody use elusiveness properly. So a single hit. And... Yep. Wow, that's a good use of elusiveness. <laughs> when you got a big plotter like him, it's never going to, he's not there for offense, he just needs to survive. Yep. <laughs> wow, reduce that alpha. <laughs> On, yep. So lower is going to take his range three. Uh, looks like it is an un unobstructed is shot. Yeah. Yeah. My god. Ray's dice have said, <laughs> screw you, pal. The force is with the Empire yeah. Day. Uh, and now your double edge gets to shoot. Yep. I don't think he's going to be able to reach low, Rick. Nope, but you've definitely got a good shot on Kanan. And Kanan's just going to take it because he's got nothing to reduce now. Yep. At least Ray remembered his fire control system. Yep. Yeah, because you have to roll at least. You have to roll dice. There you go. Two hits, and it's a hit. So there's another one on the ghost. Lorik's got three hull left. Wow. Kanan's got one shield left. Now remember, everybody, ruthlessness is a thing that can fuck you. Yes, so, so all of your ships are each going to take one. They are not, so uh, I get to choose one, and it only does one, as we've established with ruthlessness. It only targets one soft TLT. Yep. Yeah, it only targets one, so I thought they were actually... No, it's only one no, ship. It's only no, it's one, one, ship. one ship. Man, if that was everything in a radius, that would be Woo! disgusting. That would cost seven points. Yeah, that's yeah. how, that's how I was like, playing. Well, that's how people are playing it against me. Who was doing that? Dude, read the, read your opponent's cards. Yeah. Always read what? your opponent's cards. What? Never oh trust them. God. Never trust them. Because <laughs> oh, when I was playing my four ships, like all they all took like one damage each, man. I was like, oh, no, no, oh no, no. Ray, I am no, so no, no, disappointed. No, no, no. no wonder you lost that match. No, I won that match. Oh wow, you still won it. I, I, it was that was the even with a handicap. Crushed it so fast. Wow. The thing is, all my ships took like my boom one. Ooh, one like, oh my God. No, it's not all ships. It's <laughs> another <laughs> ship, which mean, which could be you Ghost even. Wow, I never thought of ruthlessness <laughs> as a useful thing like that. Like, oh, hold on, let me trigger a saying for the rest of the game now. So Jonas has taken one. Jo Jonas took one. Jonas took one more and is Ion, eh? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Forward one's going to end up being a bump into the ghost for, at this point. Uh, Kestel's still okay to hull with the weapons failure. And Double Edge has taken one shield. Still? No, I'm sorry. We already did that. Yeah, yeah. So Lorik Scott, uh, oh, three hull left. I'm bad. So Kanan's still got 11 hit points left. I know it's disheartening that he's got like the TLTs playing in India, and there's some shots going. So much HP. Exactly. It's it's. Man, death like by a thousand cuts when you are the size of an ox yeah. is a long time. Robin Hood men in tights. Yes. Remember when Blink is attacking the post with the swords? That's what I feel like right now. I'm going to hit you every time, but it's just not going to matter. It's just not going to matter, no.
All right, well, Jonas, you don't get a dial. You're going precisely one spot. So they think it airs in the first episode of Ball in the Wall on CBS. They didn't air in the first episode of Ball in the Wall. It's interesting. Like, I don't mind any of the actors that are in it. People like Martin Green, I don't mind the main character. I'm not really a fan of the Ball yet. Yeah, she's very, she has a smooth background. She is, she is the lieutenant commander who's the main character in the series. That was the one. To be fair, they did spend five character points to make sure she could have that MacGuffin. They did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she is Spock's adopted sister. Oh. Uh, yeah, she's trained on Vulcan by Sarah, and her family were killed by Klingon terrorists. That also blows up the Vulcan. Okay, right out the gate, you got big points against it. Yeah, big points against it. That sounds like... It's, it's a very contentious series. decision, yes. <laughs> Some gentlemen here discussing the controversy over uh, the new Star Trek Discovery. Personally, I am I am withholding all opinion. Um, I've watched the uh, for the opening two episodes, and it's interesting. We'll see where it goes. Strange, I play X-wing, but I don't watch all these sci-fi things. No, not really. What? I, I'm surprised. Do you just not have cable, Ray? Or I just I just I got better things to do with my time. Like play X-wing. You see, you could be playing X-Wing and also watching. Right? I used to watch. My friends and I always play this when we have, like, the movies going. Oh, yeah, totally. There's always something going on in the background, right? Yep. It's nice because then you got the Star Wars soundtrack going when you're, when you're playing and it feels a little more cinematic. Yeah. <laughs> Dropping a K turn, or nope, just straight on through. Going to take advantage of that rear arc. Ooh. Well, on the bright side, you're uh, on the bright side. Ion means you're not going to lose your action. So at least you can get. Yeah. Now he's thinking. Now he's thinking. <laughs> this is that's proper imperial doctrine. If you can barrel roll out of someone's primary arc, you do it. So he's he's trying to trying to plot out that arc and figure out what's going on here. I think I think he's going to end up taking it in the back. It's also going to get him hopefully closer to Jonas here. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Let's see. This is this is how you get good is by flying and trying and hopefully getting out of arc. Sometimes you get out by millimeters, and sometimes you're just in by a millimeter. Uh, I think, I think you don't think he made it? I think on a fly try and die, he's going to die. I think he's still in it. Well, you know what? He doesn't have that target lock on you, so it's just going to be a flat roll of possibly five dice. <laughs> oh, that all. Only a flat roll of five dice. It's easy. You can evade <laughs> that with everything. 
I mean, come on, even a Karaz could take that. <laughs> ah, he's starting to figure out ruthlessness, which is stay away. Stay away from each other. Yeah. Everybody scatter. Sadly, that does also reduce uh, the effectiveness of both his ships because uh, he's got to fly them apart. But I'm dying so fast with it. Like, what's the point? Yeah. All right, so. Yeah. You definitely, I don't think you got a shot on uh, Kanan, but you, I'd say you got a shot on uh, Lorik. And, uh, all right, so at least he's going to get the obstruction die. He is reinforced to the front. Well, no, you got weapons failure still. I know. Yep. I was going to say, put a put a uh, crit token next to your ship so you remember that, oh, yeah, there's a crit there. i got to take care of that. So he's going to spend that focus. Oh, he's, he's, he doesn't want to spend it because he wants to be able to spend it for his attack. So I think he's going to play the odds. I think he's going to play the odds and go with the two. You've been, like, rolling natties all day long. Two dice so... First volley TLT from Lieutenant Kessel. I will reroll that with Jonas. Uh, are you close enough? Range one. Oh, it's him. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah, you'd be I was looking at the other dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So two hits. Ray busts out. And evade. Awesome. And then your reinforce gave you a second evade result. Yeah. And one hit. Yeah, and reinforce takes care of it. As long as he has that reinforce token, he gets one of aid result as long as you're shooting from the front. <coughs> if he reinforces rear, then it's outside of his arc. So. Ray is trying to figure out whether to drop another eye on on Jonas or try to erase uh, Kestel. And yeah, it's, it's a tough call. I don't know who to shoot either. Do I take a chance and try to kill him with Lorik and save my double, a double tap on him? I, say, I always say take the riskiest shot first. But, you know, there's a reason I haven't been winning a lot lately as well. So. Well, I'm kind of like you. I like taking the risky shot first. Just in case it pans out, then I'm, I'm kind of like... Then you give yourself an easier shot than I give often on the next shot one. With Kane and I don't have to use my primary to kill him. I can hit him once with the uh, ion. Then at the end and start combat, setting him up to go off the, the board, for example. Yeah. So I can ion both of them if he takes the shot. Okay, so you know what? I talked myself into it. Okay, so where is... Uh, who's firing away? So uh, Lorik's going to take a uh, shot So he's got three dice at range three. So you're going to get three dice as well. Ray busts out. Oh, hitting a focus. He's going to spend it for two. Could just go scot free. Wow. One. So I take eight damage. Yep. Boop. He's got one left. Right, so now I have to. Yep. So yeah, you get your normal attack now. So rear arc fire on Okay. Oh man. Wow. Two hits. Oh my god. Uh, no kidding. Cause that target lock. Cause that target lock. Oh my god, two of AIDS. Wow. Sometimes you dice say not today, and this is that day. Honestly, it doesn't help that he's broken up your squad because of the threat of ruthlessness. Alright, so we got an unguided rocket shot coming up. So three dice obstructed at. Uh, uh, secondary. Huh? Why? Because I use range two of Kanan. 
Oh. Yeah, yeah. cannons range one to two of them. Okay, so, uh, reds. There you go. Still, he's only gonna get two in re uh in response. So. Oh, nice. I know, right? I know, right? That's so good. And Ray gets an eyeball. He does take a crit. Oh. Oh, he has lit on fire. It smells like burning Wookie in here. Oh dear, I just noticed here. <coughs> I think I may need to update my stream overlay because it's not showing the proper attack uh, dice amounts on Castle or Double Edge. So I'll... he's got three evades. He got three evades out of that. <laughs> Oh yeah, so yeah, target lock, and so this is the end of combat now. Did you get your end of combat ion? That was your end of combat ion. Okay. Wow. Wow. I'm stunned. Hmm, this is interesting. I was not expecting these aggressors to be as defensive as they turned out to be. It's, it's just rolls. I am also surprised by how they rolled. Like, really? Like, that's why I, 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 I never rolled more than two hits. It's like I could roll like any part of sort of pain. I got now, Kanan's still doing just fine. He's 11 hit points. 22 minutes left. If you can erase one of those, um, I had like six shots at one. I couldn't even put one damage through. Yep. I think if you can erase <coughs> at least uh, Kestel, you win. So well, if you can erase Kestel and not give up margin. <coughs> That's true. That is true. Yeah. So if you can maintain uh, at least eight hit points, don't take three more. There you go. And for you, um, just keep shooting. <laughs> just keep shooting. More lasers. Yep. That's the yeah. Is really, it's what we, you solve every problem. Like. Yep, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, that's what the Death Star yeah, it is. Worked, yeah, it worked out great they for were a like, long time. They were like, we ran into a hard cap on the number of lasers we can fit on a Star Destroyer. Let's build something bigger. Build a thing that has even, even bigger lasers. Yeah. We can't go for quantity. We can go for quality. That's right. Um, well, pfft. The problem was they obviously built it, but with the highest, or sorry, with the lowest bidder, because the lowest bidder was you're a slave. Yeah. So. <laughs> it turns out if you enslave someone, kill his wife, and force him to build a super for you, doesn't do his best work. No, I know it's strange, right? Yeah, who could have seen that? <laughs> Ray's all dialed in. Uh, Otaku uh, is thinking Ray's really hard. He actually has three dials to set this time, so he's got yeah, to th make sure that he doesn't <laughs> cause collisions because he sir. needs those actions right now. Yeah, you're like, oh god, no, I screwed up. No, I didn't. <laughs> Nope. As long um, the the template can, as long as the base lands inside. Okay. Oh, I've done some like hard freeze where it's like. Yes. As long as all of your base then lands on the mat afterwards, you are clear. Do they 
they have a hard one though to the uh, aggressors? No. Uh, I think they are a weird tie. And the Trump, the yeah. All right. So. Oh, yes. They're very similar to a Y-Wing in that. So he's thinking hard here. <coughs> okay, so he's got his uh, dials all set. I think we're finally moving on here. Oh, yep, getting out of dodge. Okay. Thinking hard on his action. Yep, that's the right choice. Get that focus. Good rule of thumb. When in doubt, take a focus. Yep. If you're just not sure, take a focus. Uh, and there is Lorik also trying to get away. It looks like he might have actually moved far enough to get a keep out of a range three shot there. But it's going to be, we're definitely going to need to measure that. Oh, this is the evade token from Isard, right? Okay. So he's getting everybody all lined up here, trying to get away from the ghost to keep that primary from wrecking him. He's trying to fix his shit and flips it back. Flips it back. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go over the archive and uh, count up the hits and, and misses and stuff here. <laughs> Put the fire out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was there a console fire going off here? Yeah, there is. Oh. Yeah. Let's let's see if the Wookiee managed to put himself out. Didn't burn. He didn't burn. He didn't spend an action to turn it down either, did you? Okay. <laughs> That'll learn you. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah. First volley. Yep. Second volley. Second volley. 
You have to roll at least at least one, right? Wait. Oh, that was from your ray. Okay. Yep. All right. Oh man, yes he does. Look at that, nice range three out the back. Jonas is doing great though. He's gonna get that extra die. Oh no, he, well he's gonna get, he's gonna get his extra normal die. He's not gonna, yeah, he's not gonna get that lightweight frame. But the evade, the evade and the focus, and he's not stressed right now, so he can technically do the uh, elusiveness as well. That, wow, I've never actually thought of elusiveness as useful, but it's turning out to be quite quite something here for you. And honestly, if they're shooting at Jonas, they're not shooting at anybody else. There you go. Target lock. That was an eyeball. That was an eyeball. So then we'll spend the focus to turn that up. This is for the... That's the ion cannon. Ion cannon is one to two, buddy. Ion cannon, tur oh, yeah, yeah. Ion cannon turret is one to two. Oh, so I primary Roll your primary instead, please. I was like, why is he only rolling three? What's going on here? Yeah, your ion cannon turret is great, but it doesn't have range three. That's not bad, though. So now you spend your target lock on the blank for another blank, but still two hits and a crit. When does it say? So he has to do that before I modify my dice. Hold on. When does it? When does it say? When defending. When defending. When defending. So that means that's what I'm about to. Roll. So that would be no. That would be when you modify. So before he turned, before he turned that up. <laughs> that's yeah. Okay, so what did we have? We had a crit. He's making you re-roll the crit, the focus, and a blank. So yeah. So I got a blank and a crit to re-roll. Yeah. So I'm forcing you to do one. You want to do the other? Yeah. Wait. Because he's he's because. Um, it's when defending, so technically he it's can still. It's when defending, so he has to modify first, and I have. Wait, when defending is when he's actually rolling dice. Nope. Is it not? He's not. De he's not. Def he's not. He has a defender, but he's not defending yet. He is defending. As soon as I declare him as attacker, he is the defender, and he is defending. It's just like. Ooh, I'm gonna have to look up elusiveness, boys. <coughs> So it's technically two first. separate rerolls. <coughs> so it so you reroll the crit first. I reroll the crit first. Yeah. Okay. Which turns into another crit. Okay. Same crit. Well, so now we roll the blank. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Target lock. Yep. Well, it's about time you got some luck. Well, eyeball. So okay. we're gonna spend that focus token for two eyeballs. There we go. Oops. I already spent the focus token. All right. So that unless I roll all natties, that crit's getting through. Come on, Jonas. I'd be happy with all points, but once you're finally... Oh, my God. Okay, I will focus and evade and mit and gets it dodge. Ha, 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 ha! The power of the double tokens oh, is the everything. Of, that's not just double tokens, dude. That's, like, all pain. There's a yeah. difference between double tokens and... Hey, if he hadn't oh, had that focus, God. he would yeah, have taken a, a considerable uh, considerable more damage. So it is the, definitely the double tokens. It's not about all about pain. It's about making sure that you get all the mods possible. Yeah, absolutely. So, I don't think I've ever complained about dice so badly. No, every game. You complain about dice every game, my friend. No, I don't. Except, well, okay, the di the games you're winning, you don't complain. Even the ones I lose, I hardly ever complain about Range three. Is that... We're going to need the laser. Yeah, laser. Uh, 
it is unobstructed. Dude. No, it's not. Right there. Yeah. You had it right there. Yeah. 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 It's hard to say. I didn't bring the ultimate settler with me. I know. The decider. Well, no, 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 it's, it's got full juice. I just didn't bring it. Hold on, hold on. It was a free but I was not there. You know what? No. It's hard to hold a steady hand. No, it's literally, yeah, like the width of a dime. It's covering, it is the width of a dime. At least the width of a So, yes, no, I will. It, 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 I, would, I would call it obstructed. Okay. I mean, it's there. It's shit. The guy just didn't want to actually have to beat all the traffic. Double there. Okay, so you're going to get the TLT shot? Yep. Way too far away from here. I'll focus that. Yeah. Nice. So that's first volley. He needs a bunch. I don't think he's going to get it. One evade, and he takes one. Second volley. Do you know you're at one hole already, aren't you? Nope. One. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. yeah. I've been keeping track, buddy. Uh, whoop, one. So what do you hit? One hit. One, one hit. Plink. Oh, plink. plink. Okay, so one <laughs> hole on low rick. Wow. And I don't get a double tap. And there was no other damage dealt this turn, was there? No. Holy oh, cow. Max, max all right, eight minutes, evasion. gents. Eight minutes. Max you, you got to kill Lorik, otherwise this goes to final volley. <coughs> Still, final volley's not bad. Uh, six dice versus seven. Yeah. Oh wait, plus the ghost, or plus, plus the, the, uh, plus the attack the shuttle. Ghost. Ooh, that helped. I can't. I forgot about that because that's final volley. It does I'm not count. familiar with final volley. Final, final volley. If you get to the end of the game, times run out, and nobody has um, scored enough to to win. Um, then you tally up all of your attack dice for remaining ships, uh, and you roll off against each other. Whoever has the most hits and crits wins. Just pure attack dice? Yep. Oh, I'm going to lose that. Yep. It's a whole six. And so, for example, you can get a 0-0 zero, zero win. I think it ends up 100 points for the winner. You don't get the additional points for your kill, for your kills, because you didn't kill anything. <laughs> Salva winner gets the win. Yeah. Each player gets 100 or more, which is still horrible. <laughs> hey, it's better than zero win movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Ray is nervous. He's he's bouncing his legs, tapping away. Oh, me too, me too, buddy. Oh, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. All right, we're moving in. Double edge doing a hard turn too, trying to get around and try and get keep that shot going. I don't think he's gonna move far enough. Right? Yeah. Yep, nice fast move out of Lorik. He's going to flip that down. One held left. Go, Lorik!
Hmm. Definitely a collision. Oh, me? No, definitely. Definitely a collision. Right into his butt. Snurf. Hello, friend. That's yeah, TIE Fighters. They're just friendly. They are. The Empire preaches togetherness, you know? Well, hey, man. Have you seen an uh, Imperial Barracks? It's pretty tight, man. Packing in there with, like, sardines. Yeah, like they're Ewoks or something. So, no shots. No, no. It looks like no. <laughs> yeah. Ray is shocked. Wait, what? Why did you clear your stress? Oh. Nice try. God. Fina, cheat. Point the other way so I'm not looking. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Three minutes, 14 seconds left, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, wait, that's my box. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Man, he's really got to try and push here. We got, if these guys are fast, maybe two turns. And all Ray has to do is avoid taking damage on the ghost and avoid taking damage on Lorik, and he's got a pretty good chance of taking it in final volley. But Darth Otaku has been really good about getting himself moved around and keeping him keeping those turrets <coughs> rolling. Even if he can't get the rocket shots off, he's definitely turreting like a crazy man. I anticipate bank threes all around one of those two guys. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't. I. He, he's got to figure out how to get that shot on Lorik. So we'll see what he's doing. And I have to figure out how to not get shot by Lorik. Right. Right? Lorik doesn't have a lot of choices because of that rock you put in front of him, but. You're limiting his choices. Unless you're like, screw it, I gotta take that risk and potentially blow up. I don't recommend it. Every time I do that, I screw up, so. Not with one halt. With two halt, if it was the meaning of difference between, like, not getting shot and getting shot, I would take the chance. Yep. Go ahead and move. is gonna do a turn three. Speeding towards victory. Speeding to uh, not hopefully dying. That's I'm sure that's what he's aiming for. Is the please don't kill me. Yeah, slow roll on the ghost because that just makes sense. In, in range for what? Oh yes, you are. Yeah, all my, uh, all my Lord shenanigans didn't work with ruthlessness. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't. No, ruthlessness fire. just split you apart. Couldn't draw his fire. Couldn't spend my token to help. You did a like good job splitting apart well enough that he couldn't focus his fire on you either, though. Uh, he did a good job firing out, uh, uh, getting those shots in. Uh, but at this point, it may not be enough. This is going to end up last turn, gents. We got 10 seconds. Probably. I don't think they, anybody's going to have shots. Oh, Radonk. No shots. Okay, gentlemen, tally up your dice. Ray gets uh, 10. I get six. Hey, he could still lose. The way I've been rolling? No, no, it would be perfect spot on irony if after how I was rolling all game, if you're just like 10 in. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay, bust it out, Ray. 
Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Do this is taking it to right? final salvo here. No, I, well, they'll get mixed up. All right. I don't want to give you these cursed dice. <laughs> hey, man, if anybody cursed them, it's you. All right, that's cursed dice. That's wow, right. one, two, three hits. Oh, man. Oh, man. You actually could take him on final salvo. Wait, why are you re-rolling? Because I only rolled eight, I said. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. Right. Nine, uh, ten. So five. So five. So I have... You know what? You only own eight dice? What the hell, Ray? <laughs> I offer two in my asshole, but if yeah. you want, uh, I'll have to get mixed up. So oh, now five. this this is less less potential for you to out, yeah. outroll. Five on six. You need five <laughs> or five. six. Yeah. Five would trigger a re-roll. Five would trigger a re-roll. <laughs> if you get five, I will laugh like a maniac. I will cry like a <laughs> I will table flip. If you get six, table flip. <laughs> table flip on hey, six. What do you think this is? Tabletop six. simulator? Table flip on six. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Nope. No, it's not going to be enough. Three. Three. Pretty good. Three. Wow. Wow. A win is a win. Good wow, game. good game, gents. Good no, game. You guys are both pushing hard. I don't think your list is, is bad necessarily even, Ray. It's just that ruthlessness made you fly it yeah, different. Made, made me fly different. And I see some changes that I want Hera, to make. Hera, get out of there. I see some changes that I want to make. Get, yep. get Hera out. Yep. She did nothing. Not on Kanan. No. Hera's not good on She's, You're not going to stress him. No. I'm not gonna so you need, you need some other one-point crew in there, maybe. Yep. Um, Lorik was great. I'm gonna ditch these. The uh, missiles made no difference. I'll probably just put a fall grade on somebody a little stronger. Yep. So uh, how do you, how did you feel about that game? I felt really good. Yeah. Like, you, I thought you flew very well, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Like. The, uh, I think the only change I'm gonna make to it is ditch the cluster missiles. Maybe for a full upgrade on more. Yeah. Ditch the cluster for more. Yeah. More health. They're, they're a little fragile. Yeah. But I was actually surprised how well that did, considering how big and tough both of these are. Right, so yeah. To only lose that on a roll-off, I feel pretty good. Yep. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was awesome. And Because Ray's list it was tanky as all get-out. Um, yeah. Nope. Well, you were still using it fairly well. A little bit. You did a good job. Um, I did a good job surviving in the end, taking yeah. all those, like, you know, quad TLTs with only three yeah. left. And See, you... I, I would have um, probably ignored Lorik for the most part, yeah. focused first on getting half on the ghost, and then turned against Lorik. Secure, secure the easy points while you can, and then try to kill Lorik off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. At that point, Ray was just like, "Keep running, keep running, keep running." Right. No, that's I was, fine. I was that's actually fine. surprised when I saw him like had like a bunch of really good opportunities to just like mess up my ghost, but kept trying to finish off. Lower. You know what? I uh, I probably like, would have done that as well, like, uh, with the hope of getting more of those hits in against Lorik. You got lots of opportunities to attack. <laughs> Lorik just was like, nah, bra. Yeah, no, I'm not not gonna so happen. Times, not gonna happen. So yeah. <laughs> Right on. So there you have it, folks. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash geektechindustries. And uh, we will see you guys uh, um, next time here on the channel. And proof that you can still win without any evasion results. <laughs> <laughs>